All right, y'all, so we back out here. So as you can see on the low side, I'm below 30 pounds. So it's, it's a little undercharged. The problem is, is that they don't have a high side gauge. They only have a low side gauge. So that's why having gauges is a good thing to have because gauges will tell you a lot about your system. All right, y'all, welcome back to Philly D's Garage. So today I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to recharge your AC system and how to check it. So, um, like I said before, my older videos, I haven't touched this AC system since like 2011, 2012. Um, that's when I changed the AC compressor and charged it up and everything. And it's been good ever since. So, um, it's about it's 84 degrees outside right now. It's 78 degrees in here and that's probably because i had the car running so it was actually cooler inside um before i had the car running but the car is actually saying that it's 66 degrees in here so it's weird um and i think the ambient temperature uh sensor that reads the ambient temperature let me show you all real quick it's right there so that sensor right there it's supposed to read the ambient temperature and it's saying it's 66 in the car. My thermometer over there is saying 78. The temperature outside on my phone is saying 84. But whatever, we're gonna go right off the gauge. So basically, the car is off right now. So the gauges are reading static pressure. So, real quick, if you don't know what static pressure is, basically, um, the temperature outside should mirror um, your gauges with the car off. So right now, um, like I said in here, it's saying it's 78 degrees. So you wanna see about 78 on both your high, uh, your high and low gauge. So right now on the high side, it's saying 70, uh, what's that about 76. And on the low side, it's saying 60, six so as you can see the low side is low so basically if you hook up your gauges without the car running you're going to read static pressure and like i said static pressure should be about whatever your ambient temperature is so if you see this and your low side is lower than the ambient temperature then long story short your ac um, refrigerant is a little low and if it's high um on either gauge then obviously you're overcharged all right y'all so we back out here so as you can see on the low side i'm below 30 pounds so it's, it's a little undercharged so i'm closer to like 26 um on a day like this 80 degree day over 80 degrees i should be a little higher than where i'm at now i should be at least at 30 maybe 31 32 and my high side could be a little higher so, let me turn this car off real quick, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I added some refrigerant to the uh, system. So, I'm sitting at 37, about 37 degrees on that side. And 37, 38 on this side. So, it's the same thing. So, let me um get out and show you guys... Uh, what some people do wrong all right y'all so we back on the outside so let me show you what some people do wrong but now when you got these uh when you go to the auto zone or the car advance or whatever those stores are called and you buy these gauges with the refrigerant uh built into it the problem is is that they don't have a high side gauge they only have a low side gauge so um you need to know what your system is doing on both sides of the system, the high side and the low side. Now I've used these, you know, and I've charged plenty of cars with these. They do work. They will add um, refrigerant to your system. And if it's just low, um, simply that's all these will do is add refrigerant to it and, and, and hopefully put it back to where it needs to be and get you cold air. But use a high and low side gauge. Um, <laughs> figure out what 
your system is doing. So like I showed y'all, uh, I'm running at about 38, um, 30 degrees down inside. So um, we're cooling off, we're doing better now. So um, yeah, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, y'all, some bonus footage. Um, just wanted to make sure I was clear on what I was saying, but um, I only topped off my system. My system was only a couple pounds low. It wasn't really low. Like I was still getting pretty chilled air. Depending on what's wrong with your car, you may need to vacuum your system out. Um, so I didn't want to leave that part out. You want to vacuum your system out and make sure you get all the air and the moisture out of your system because if you don't do that first, your system will never be right. So depending on what's going on with your AC system, you will need to vacuum it out. And, um, you know, like I said, <laughs> to get the moisture and all that stuff out. So I didn't want to leave that part out. And also before you enter the uh, refrigerant into your system, you want to purge these lines out right here. So I did do that. I did all that off camera. So you want to make sure the air, uh, you get the air out of this line before you send a pocket of air into your system. So you don't want to do that. So you want to purge it out until you see refrigerant coming out. And then you want to add the refrigerant in there. Um, so again, uh, static pressure is basically when your system, your system is sitting at the same pressure temp as ambient temperature. So if the ambient temperature is 76, then you want to see around 76 on your gauges, both sides. All right, and if it's lower than 76, then that may mean your system is low. If it's higher, that means your system is overcharged. All right, so you can do um, or figure out a lot of things from the time you hook up your gauges uh, before you even start working on your system. So that's why having gauges is a good thing to have because gauges will tell you a lot about your system on, on the uh, low and high side. So, um, I hope I ain't forgetting nothing this time, but <laughs> I'm not going to make a bonus number two if I sit here and think of something else, but I might just write it, you know, on the screen. So, um, check you on the next one.